Long time no see. I haven't even introduced this video yet. But what is up, loud and proud crowd? We are back with another video, believe it or not. That's because this is a video, you know? That's it's, right, that's what you do. That's what it is. So anyways, we're here with the freaking wide second gen dually. And Dad saw it for the first time yesterday in person. And what was your well, first impression? Which, by the way, you have to, shameless plug, go check out the new merch. More fuel, less talk less caps, talk. and this comes in all different colors. Which that goes back to the video when you had your silver dually and you just got the new turbo and we were driving mm -hmm. it. So that's kind of yep. cool. Yep. Yeah. But the butt on this thing is unreal. <laughs> like, like if you like big butted trucks, this is the truck. Holy smokes. I and, love it's, it. and it's almost just as wide in the front as the rear. So yeah. it's kind of, not it's, quite, but it's, it's close. It's pretty amazing. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. So anyways, so at least we put a big load on it to test it out, right? Yeah. Yeah. First, first load for the truck. And um, I don't know. It's a good one. It's hard yeah, to it's hard to tell me. because the the bed is like not the fenders don't go as high as the wheel wells on the actual bed, so it's a little different. Yeah. So you asked me my first impression. So yeah, what was your first impression? You have to keep in mind, like when I first saw it, like I thought the dually part of it was cool. Twenty four valve is always cool, right? And the only thing that was kind of standing out to me was I can see ahead, but the silver things on the bottom of the chrome things, I wasn't a fan of. But now that we got this, you got that stance on there and it just lines it all up, the black lights, like it's unreal. Like I totally love it. Like, and it does tie in with the front bumper. It yeah, really does. It does, it looks good. And now it serves as a rock chip preventative <laughs> add-on. If you got mud flaps to the front, they'd be like, have to be on black, it's out here. I know. <laughs> like a no, they would. Yeah, the ones that we had on there we took off because the tires were just so wide that they were pointless on there anyway. Yeah. But, uh, it looks really good. Yeah. It looks good. Yeah, it I like how clean, too, Devin did with as far as the lift components. Yeah, it looks good. Nice and crisp. It looks good. It looks good. Are you so, going to leave this here? No. See, these mirrors, oh, that's something I wanted to point out. These mirrors, see, they're kind of like loosely fit. So we have new mirrors already in the box ready to go on. It's chipped up there. But, uh, see, like, this is like one of the only second gens that it's actually stanced enough between the rear and the front to where the mirror doesn't go further right. than the wheels and tires. <laughs> it actually looks kind of, it looks mean. But anyway, so they could be winning this truck. A lot of these people that see this video might not know that yet. Because not everybody sees every video, so. If this grill came up missing and it was happened to be on Nasty Red, would you notice? Yes, I would notice because okay. it's actually in good shape and the clips on the back are original and they're still there. Interesting. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's pretty cool. Today, what I was gonna do is an exhaust tip, just a six inch, not anything Well, you crazy. got plenty of room. You probably wouldn't have to cut no. those tires. No, because the tire, well, not just that, but the bed and the mud flaps are right. so wide that this tip still doesn't even stick out back there. But, so we're gonna do that, and then we were gonna try to do cold air, in, not a cold air intake, an intake manifold on this today, SMB intake on it. But uh, any words for those people watching that are still skeptical and they haven't entered a giveaway yet, they've watched, Six people now walk away with their dream trucks and they're still just thinking, ah, should I enter or should I not? Well. And the trucks keep getting cooler. The trucks do keep getting cooler. Um, better and better. I've met these guys. They're amazing guys. It's been, uh, it's been cool. So you just gotta do it. And the nice thing too is like, as the trucks get better, the merch gets better, everything gets better. And so it's kind of crazy not to. I mean, if you like diesel trucks, if you're not a fan of diesel trucks, especially ones that you can get at relatively low cost, if you buy a few things and you get an entry in, what can you say, you know? Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, listen, you guys can win these things for like 15 to 50 to whatever, whatever you actually spend on stuff, but you can win this truck for $15. That's all you need to spend to get entered. But it's like, that's relatively low compared to what I have into it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, then, then, yeah, it's, yeah, it's it's a good deal. <laughs> it's a really good deal. So, he entered so. every giveaway and he ended up winning one of them, but he kept putting his entries in. He's like, hey, one of these times I'm going to get drawn, so I'm going to just put my entries in because eventually it's going to happen. Here's the downside to having dualies because a worm told. just fell from yeah, the sky. From the, uh, <laughs> the rubber wall to the garage door. <laughs> <laughs> if it was raining worms, that would freak me out. I would probably just go hide. <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> the downside of having dualies, because you got this thing now sitting in my drive. 
It takes up four spots. <laughs> and, then, and then you're planning on getting the 2019 Big Butted Dually. Oh my goodness. You're going to have to figure something out. And believe it or not, <laughs> that truck, I'm going to try to make it bigger than this one. Is that not cool? It's going to be cool. I don't know about stance wise. I'm not you saying wider, but in terms of height, you know, like it's going to be big. There, there's, I'll be a hundred percent honest here. When I see this truck, I'm a little jealous. Like I wish nasty red was a dually. And I wish Nasty Red, in part, not that it was a 24 valve, I like the 12 valve, I like the setup there. It was manual. But I do like the idea of manual. It's just fun to drive manual sometimes. In a work truck, it's fun. Yeah. But we did get the exhaust tip on the truck because of course you know that that is one of the top priorities when it comes to a diesel truck is an exhaust tip. But all jokes aside though, it is. it does look good and we only went with a six inch on this truck. And with no trimming, it hardly even pokes up past the um, mud flap there. But it looks good. It's good. It's not overkill. It's not, you know, this huge in-your-face exhaust tip. Actually, looks, I think it looks pretty good. Yeah, that's and 15 horsepower, so you're good. 15, 15 horsepower, so you, you definitely want to do that. So what we're going to be doing now is installing an SNB cold air intake. No, SNB is not sponsoring this video, though they should. But this is what we're going to be doing is swapping out this factory intake with an SNB intake, and it should be a pretty easy process. The second gen ones are a lot easier than the fourth gen ones with the different fuel lines and stuff you gotta move around and all that crap, but it should just be as easy as taking out, you know, sensor, band clamps, the 10 mils, um, and then just swapping it out. Well, we did just get the intake manifold installed on this truck, the intake horn, whatever you guys want to call it, and uh, it looks good. The colors we're just kind of going for the black and white under the hood, which is kind of like that black, white, and silver that kind of was from the factory anyways. Um, but in terms of that kind of stuff, that's all we're going to do is basically this, this side, and then we're going to do a little something on the other side. But uh, this truck's not going to be hot routed out, but it's going to it's going to run efficient. It's going to run good with plenty of power to uh, pull whatever you're putting behind it. But, um, but yeah, looks good. Looks good. I'm going to try to, if I can remember to, leave the S and B intake link below from Amazon in case you guys want to go pick one up. And I should have showed them side by side because the difference is actually pretty significant from that one that was on the truck, the factory, to the SMB one, the inlet and outlet side, like on both sides of it, there's actually a pretty big difference in terms of how much air it can actually push through there at a time, not to mention the shape is more for flow versus like just really boxy and, you know, just not quite as efficient. But Final thoughts on your first impressions for this truck. Like, would you like actually go back? What did you think it was gonna look like? And then, what was your reaction after you saw what it actually looked like? This baby's wide. It's wide. It's wide. Freaking, like, is it yeah. too wide or is it like just wide enough? No, I think it's. Uh, I mean, <laughs> it depends what your purpose is. If you're gonna try to get through a bank line or dr certain drive-throughs, you're getting the wedge. Yeah. Yeah. Well. A any Julie, but, but this definitely but this is definitely yeah. <laughs> what I'm curious is I'm excited to see it have a load on there. So whether we just put the goose lick neck on just to see how it sits, but as of now it looks really good. I'm a little bit jealous to be honest with you. It looks good, but the the point of that is not necessarily jealous of like me having this truck because it's going to be going to one of you guys. So if you guys want to have a chance to win this truck. Go check out the information in the description below for $15. Literally, go to the website. This is how easy it is. You don't have to fill out any form. There's no fancy stuff. You just go to the website, link in description, make an order of $15 or more, and you're entered to win. Now, every $15 additional that you spend gets you another entry automatically. However, it is just a minimum of $15, and you are entered to win this truck, and it could be yours by mid-May. So just think about that. Enter while you can. Information in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Leave a fat thumbs up. Comment down below. Subscribe if you're new. Join the team. Join the family. And we'll catch you in the next video. Peace.